Hey guys, so weird angle, I know, not probably not flattering, but this was the easiest, best setup right now because I'm sat at my dining table and I just have a little bit of like unboxing and a haul to show you guys. I thought I'd start the vlog here. Actually, I might do a different intro clip because this is a bit messy, uh, even for me. Um, but yeah, I just came back from my local town center, a bit of shopping, a bit of errands with my parents. Um, we were starting some Christmas shopping. I didn't get any videos or anything. We just went to B&Q. Uh, I did get something for myself from there that I will start with. And it's just a cute little decoration. Um, it's oh, kind of shedding glitter everywhere, but how pretty. Also, ignore my nails. I've had a few of these uh, come off. Um, but yeah, how pretty is this? I think it was only one pound. And yeah, it does shed glitter. It's not high quality or anything. It's just a bit of like, I guess, I don't know, paper, cardboard, plastic, whatever. But it does shimmer really nicely. I feel like if it catches the light during the day, it'll be really pretty. So I need to find somewhere to put that. I'll find a place to put that and that was only a pound i said so yeah super cheap i also got a few other decorations i'll show you uh i think once everything's fully done i'll do like a christmasy flat tour where i just show you all the decorations i bought because i have quite a few on the way i'm very excited um then nothing much else i just got some food from a shop like some vegetables i'm not going to show you that we're not stooping to that level unless you guys do want to see a food haul then let me know um but now i'm going to unbox a massive delivery from TK Maxx and it does say that I have three yeah it says that I got three um items in there which is why I ordered because honestly I found that I love TK Maxx but they are really unreliable with their packaging either the packaging is super flimsy or things are go missing so I found that collection works best for me when I order online and also just buying it directly from the shop but having said that they are an amazing retailer so I kind of forgive them and I I, I get annoyed for a couple days and then I forget about it and I place another order. Okay, so first item here, I don't know if it's showing. Yeah, okay, so you can see the price there, it was 20 pounds. It is a body shop gift set and it's so cute and I will open it because I think I'm not even gonna use it like this. I'm thinking I want to, um, oh, okay got quite a few bits in there i think i want to kind of disperse it and give it as multiple gifts um and keep a few things for myself i didn't really just buy it just for the gift set but first i don't know what this is i didn't really care about this item it's some kind of like maybe face loofah body loofah it doesn't say what it is plastic bath lilies with rami a natural plant-based fiber what's a bath lily make sure you let it dry out completely store in a dry place um I don't know is it i think it's like a body loofah i'm really not sure it does smell amazing though but yeah if anyone knows can you please let me know um then i got the shea butter shower cream i i can smell it it's quite a sweet nutty scent but because some of these might be gifts i'm not going to open them for now but yeah this is a shower gel i love the body shop shower gels i don't really buy them or use them much because i prefer soap just because it's more eco-friendly but i might keep that one um, then we got the Shea fragrance. Let me see if I can smell it from here. Mm, yeah, it's that kind of sweet, nutty scent that I could smell as soon as I opened the box. So we've got that. And then a soap bar. I'm definitely keeping this. I always need more soap. Um, I use it. I have it like in the kitchen and bathroom. So I tend to use that more than... And I can also use it as body soap, actually. So yeah, that works out. I'm definitely keeping that one. Definitely keeping this. I need a new hand cream. That's part of the reason I got this package. So it's all Shea butter. And then finally, the body butter. This will probably be a gift. And it says it's for very dry skin, 96 hour nourishing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if that, you know, stand, if it stands up to the claim and it's full size, everything here is full size, I presume. I think the hand cream actually is full size. This is like £4.50, I think, normally. So yeah, it's a really good gift set. And I had vouchers, so I didn't even pay the £20 for it. But it is good value. It's a little cheaper, I think, than if you paid, um, you know, directly from the body shop. And then next product, this is the only one for me. It's the Vitamin C R Rodial. I never know how to pronounce this brand. Rodial, Rodial. Brightening Tonic, because I needed like a morning cleanser. And yes, I know toner is slightly different to cleanser. It does the same thing. And I'm not fussy in the morning because it's just, you know, the last night's serum and skincare on my skin. I've just been lying in bed like... There's no dirt or bacteria or pollution on my face, so I don't care too much about the cleansing routine. Um, and actually, my skin hasn't really suffered for it, so it's an okay, it's an okay way to do it. But this is full size, 
and it's absolutely massive. It has some kind of pump. Okay, I don't know how you're going to use this. I don't want, knowing me, I'll open it and it will just fly everywhere. But okay, oh, I think you get a pad and then you press it and it comes down. Okay, that's quite smart. And that's actually a really good way to control how much you get out of here. And it says it's vitamin C and I'm gonna use it straight away. So I will actually just open the whole thing. Okay, it does have a very zesty orangey scent, like a very sweet mandarin scent, clementine scent. I don't know, it's very sweet. So it's probably a lot of artificial scent, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it. I can handle it. If it's really bad, I just will give it to my mom and see if she likes it. But um, not as a gift, I mean, like literally just hand it to her and be like, hey, this didn't work for me. Um, do you want to try it? But yeah, this is the vitamin C brightening tonic to brighten and renew. Exfoliating brightening tonic with acid complex vitamin C. So yeah, hopefully it just gives me really smooth, bright skin. That would be the ideal result. And then I have one more thing I'll show you. It is a gift. So if any family member is watching this now, please look away. Okay, so this final item is a gift for my parents. It looks actually a little better than I expected. I was worried it would look a little tacky or super bright. It is an agate... I guess it's a tray. I mean, it's like a decorative piece. You can put things on it. It is heavy. It's like, it is legit. And yeah, it's. I think it says here it's agate. It must be real agate quartz, I presume. It's a natural min mineral made up of Chalcedonian quartz. Um, blah, blah, blah. Dates back to jewelry from ancient Greece. Um, yeah, handcrafted in India. So it does look like, I don't even know what the brand is, to be honest. Usually on the website, they don't even list the brand on this kind of thing. So... I'm sorry, I can't tell you, but it is from the TK Maxx website. And yeah, I'm not, I mean, it's nice. Um, it was the best I could find. Um, actually matches my parents' kitchen quite nicely. So thank God, because on the website, it looked much more purple. Um, but it does look kind of elegant and like, yeah, legitimate and quite ornate. Like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I really like it. I think it is kind of going for the effect that I was looking for. It looks kind of bougie and pretty. And this is was something I want for their kitchen, um, just to place like soap, pan cream, all that stuff by the sink area. I think it will just add a little something extra. And it's very heavy. Um, not super heavy, actually, but you can tell it's like it's real material. It's not just plastic. This wasn't even that expensive. It was literally on sale for like eight pounds. So it's actually really, it's actually super cheap. So yeah, I'm glad I found that. And that's going to be one of the gifts I give to my parents slash mom. My mom will probably care more about it, but I'm happy that I got it. And if they really don't want it, I'll keep it or sell it or something. But I, hopefully they like it. And that's everything. And also the TK Maxx packaging this time was actually really good. Um, they wrapped everything in this like really thick uh, paper. And also, um, what's that called? The really thin paper. Is that, there's a term for it right the kind of thin wrapping paper along with this kind of paper one as well so it was actually really durable nothing broke nothing was damaged in any way so i think i'm going to keep doing collection if i order from them so i'm just quickly giving you guys a few updates sorry it might look a little blurry um this is some of the things i'm buying from you look i'm just doing a little bit of black friday shopping online and i will definitely be doing a haul video properly uh when all the stuff arrives Hey guys, another quick update. This one's for ASOS. I got this, well, you can just take a look for yourself. A lot of neutrals and pastels, which I'm really loving, but also very wintry, um, you know, vibe for the season. So yeah, I can't wait for all these to come and hopefully they all fit perfectly. I got quite a few handbags today um, because I have so many old ones unbranded from like AliExpress and stuff. But yeah, these trousers especially are so gorgeous and it even goes... I can quickly scroll down with that this jumper i feel like all of it kind of matches together quite nicely hi guys just a little check-in uh mid-afternoon i've got so much done i'm gonna post on my instagram in a kind of grace beverly style story which i've been testing out recently just to be a bit more personal show a bit more of like um content creator work and branded that kind of like behind the scenes of branded stuff so yeah basically i just finished filming a little ad for swede for Instagram um, and yeah, I love them. They have amazing eyelash serums and mascaras, my favorites. So yeah, they sent me a few things to test out and review. So I finished that, took the pictures I needed for a post about it as well. And what else? Then I'm gonna send that in for approval soon. 
and I think everything will, will have been posted and everything by the time you're seeing this. And what else? I am I just filmed a YouTube video, so it probably will have gone up before this vlog. And then I also filmed a TikTok to post this afternoon. So basically all the content I need to create on a daily basis is done. I just need to edit and upload and put together everything. And then yeah, send stuff over to the brand. Um, so yeah, my content creator stuff is kind of done for the day, except for obviously uploading and posting everything. And yeah, I just thought I would check and tell you that. My mom is on her way here to my place um, because she's going out and uh, my parents are going out this evening and she wants me to do her makeup, which I normally do for her. So yeah, that, that'll be quite cute. I think I do her makeup really nicely. She honestly looks the nicest when she goes out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite good with that. That's the benefits of having a daughter who's into like makeup and is a content creator or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that'll be nice. It won't take long. It's not like a full face of makeup. It'll be like literally 15 minutes of application. But that's why I'm up to now and then I will try and do an evening check-in if there's anything interesting to update you guys on today. Hey guys, just a quick update. I had a bloody nightmare. I was going to vlog it, but then I just got so annoyed um, that I just had to clean it up. I accidentally smashed one of my glasses. If you've watched my home tour and my like my flat tour video and yeah, just general content like where I vlog, I'll show um, my living room a little bit and that's where I have this really cute... Um, gold bar trolley and these really nice like holographic martini glasses and they're so pretty and I'm sure there's loads of brands that do something very very similar but I bought four in a pack and I broke one of them I'm so annoyed because I love them and they're on display I still have three so it does look nice I've just um kind of lined them up in a row I'll show you in a moment but I just had to sweep the floor and I think I got all of it all the pieces of glass um there might be some very 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 tiny specks but yeah, I'm not going to sweep it a second time. It seems fine. I've been walking on it and nothing's happened, so it seems okay. I checked the kitchen as well because the kitchen is um kind of like right next door and it was fine. It doesn't look like there's any pieces there. But that's annoying because I'm hungry and I was just trying to cook dinner and my um I boiled the kettle to make pasta and then I have to reboil it now because I took so long cleaning, but it's okay. These things happen and you know what? I got tons of videos and photos with it. I used them a couple times. And I rarely have a group of four. It's usually me and one friend or one other person, maybe a group of three of us. Like, I don't think I've ever had four people here at one time. So as crazy as that sounds. So yeah, I guess it's not really a loss that I only have three and I might be able to find a fourth one one day. Um, but that's okay. It's just a bit of an annoying thing um, to have this evening. Now I'm just going to make pasta. And then when I sit down, um, I'll show you or just as I've made it, but... Yeah, I'll show you now the film I'm going to watch when I'm eating. I just feel like watching something light and fun. There were no comedies. I couldn't see any comedies that I really wanted to watch. Um, nothing that I particularly liked. So yeah, I'm just going to watch A Simple Favor. I've lit a candle. It's quite a nice vibe. So yeah, that's it for the evening right now. So in case anyone hasn't seen it, um, this is actually on Amazon. I don't know if it's on Netflix or anywhere else, but my parents have Prime. So yeah, I'm just watching that currently. And it's it's described as a comedy, but apparently it's like, I've seen it before, but it's apparently a dark comedy, but mystery suspense kind of film. It's not scary. It's not a thriller, but it is quite good. Um, I like Blake Lively. Um, I really love The Age of Adeline as well. I kind of want to watch that as well if it's on here, but um yeah i'm just gonna watch this a second time it's an easy film that i can just be on my laptop multitask whilst watching it so guys i know it looks a bit crazy um there's a lot of kale in there or i think cavolonero which is slightly different to kale i think but anyway um yeah this is the finished result there is a lot of um sauce uh, but it's mixed out. There's garlic, truffle oil. It does actually smell really good. It might not look that amazing on camera, but honestly, it's really nice. It's quite a healthy mix. Loads of veggies. And then there's the little candle. It's a pumpkin spice candle. Um, I'm trying to use it up for the season. I don't really want to use it next year. But it's just adding to a nice vibe. Film is set. So I'm just going to enjoy. Okay, guys, quick update. I have a glass of red wine. I just couldn't resist. I kept thinking about it. I thought it'd go so well with a nice bowl of spaghetti and I'm watching a film. I had some stress. I feel like I need some wine. I never drink wine. I have a few unopened bottles in my kitchen. So I thought I'll open one. And I think they last, I tried to Google it. They probably should last at least a minimum of three days. So I will probably have one more glass tomorrow with dinner probably and then either try and leave it in my fridge or see if my parents want it or something. Um, but yeah, 
Hey guys, I am just running a little bubble bath. I'm using this molten brown, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, vetiver and grapefruit, and honestly does create amazing bubbles. So yeah, can't wait just to relax. And then I will update you guys on the rest of my evening. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning now, and I am, I just had breakfast pretty chill Saturday morning. I do have a lot to do today, so I'll try and keep you updated and posted. I'll also be doing another Grace Beverly style Instagram story, like I mentioned previously, because I actually have some interesting stuff going on today. And I'm going to start prepping for a little trip. It's a staycation kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I just had breakfast. So let me show you here. Well, I just finished my granola there, but I have my little coffee uh, for the morning, which is quite a big uh, glass actually and then I always have one of these metal straws and then I'm doing some more Black Friday shopping so I'm on TK Maxx at the moment um, I'm trying to pick some uh, extra gifts I'm in the clearance section seeing if there's any good brands and then I'm going to look at Bershka as well which I have open here um, see what they have because I don't know I feel like I kind of saw some nice stuff recently and on Instagram so yeah if I buy any more I will let you guys know but also there'll be hauls for it and yeah, I'm just gonna do that for the next 30 minutes. Hey guys, quick update. I did make a look fantastic order. And this is, these are the three items I chose. Let me double check. Yeah, I don't think any of my details are on screen. I'll just double check later. But yeah, I got the beauty chest because their gift sets are amazing. They're honestly the best high street and luxury beauty brand that offer gift sets. I'm going to take a look at boots, but probably won't get anything because I've just picked up this. Um, but yeah, I did get an extra discount, which was good. So I got a hand sanitizer. Always need more of that. I'm obsessed. A really cool mini Olaplex kit because it's one of my favorite brands and my hair is dying right now. So yeah, I will. I can't wait to do a haul and unboxing. Hey guys, I am just cooking lunch now. I thought I'd give a quick update. I don't know how many people who are watching this are even interested in like food or co cooking content. Uh, but yeah, I'm taking a little break. I was dealing with some branded content, just editing, putting it together, doing we a we transfer clip, which if you are an influencer, you'll you'll know that's like the go-to. Um, it's the only way to upload files without losing um, the quality and without it going grainy. So I've sent that over to a brand um, that I'm working with for approval. I think I might have mentioned it yesterday already actually. So I've done that and now I'm just cooking lunch. I'm quite hungry. It's about 1 p.m. and I'm trying to use up um, as much of the wine for cooking as I can from yesterday because I'm going away um, in a couple days uh, just for a short staycation uh, to Bath. But, you know, I don't want to leave the wine lying out. Well, it'll be in the fridge, but I don't want it going off. So I am just making uh, spaghetti bolognese. And then I'm going to watch the film Don't Look Up, which came out a while ago. And I'm very late to these trends usually. But I thought I'd just give it a go. It looks good. It looks quite funny. It's described as a comedy, so it should be an easy watch. And then in the meantime, I'm going to do my nails and just get a bunch of stuff done. So if anyone's interested, this is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm vegan. It, well, some people may not know, but yeah, so this is vegan mince. It's kind of like a bolognese. And then I've added in this wine just a little bit. Um, and yeah, I can kind of smell it. So I think it's probably more than enough. Spaghetti's there. Got my vegan parmesan. This one's really good. It's probably the second best vegan uh, parmesan that I found. It, it like grates perfectly the way normal cheese would tastes pretty good so yeah I don't like that it's made from coconut oil that's the only downside but it is a good alternative if you love Italian food and you're vegan. Hey guys I'm just deciding now what to paint my nails and oh where is it oh it's here I have the these are the ones I'm going to be using Primark 100 pack pointed clear false nails and I always wanted to buy these oh it has glue that's good because I would be running out soon um I always wanted to buy these because I have so much nail polish so you can't see the colors that well but I think I still have a couple of reds and I'm thinking of doing a really deep red uh no that's not red do I have one yeah maybe like that and then maybe putting some kind of nice top coat but I will show you the finished results soon Hey guys, I'm just sitting on my living room, living room floor. I feel like that's the only place um, I can just set up my camera easily. Just doing a quick update about my nails. I went in kind of a complete opposite direction, but I wanted something a little festive and fun, girly, sparkly. Um, I, ho I was hoping I had a sparkly red, but I think whatever I had, I threw out or gave to a friend years ago. Um, but yeah, I used those Primark nails that I showed you. And then I used a sparkly blue. 
I think they're really pretty. They're kind of like, they're not perfect by the way, so don't judge, but um, they're like a holographic sparkly blue. It's more of like a silver with iridescent glitter in it. And it's from an M&S range that I got years ago in a gift set from my mom, I think. Um, M&S is cruelty free, so they're a really great nail polish brand. And it doesn't, it's not even branded. Um, doesn't even, well, it's Marks and Spencer, but, oh, it's in the shade Halo. But yeah, there's no like writing anywhere else. Um, it's quite cheap, to be honest, but it works well. It's just like a nail polish for clear nails. It looks quite nice. It's quite flattering, it's pretty. Um, yeah, it's what I wanted to go for. And then I just used a top coat to make sure it doesn't really chip. Um, I find that if there's any like um, art or yeah, any nail art or nail polish and design on it, then it can scrape off with press on nails. So I always try and use a clear top coat. This one's actually really good. It's one of those like um, free from toxic ingredients ones. And it, the brand is Karma Hughes. And I got it, I think on Amazon or another kind of online website that sells like natural beauty products, that sort of thing. So it's free from toluene, formaldehyde and DBP. Not sure what those are, but they are, they sound like toxic chemicals and just, yeah, it's not good for your skin to breathe it in. It's just, yeah, they're just chemicals. So yeah, it's good that they can make those and still have normal nail polish without those chemicals. So yeah, I do have a whole video about why I stopped using nail polishes, which is ironic that I've gone back to it right now, but I, I didn't paint on my actual nails. I painted it onto the um, press on nails and the video, I did it years ago, but I remember I did a bit of research and I was just like, so anti nail polish at the time. So if you want to look into it and why you should be buying more like natural nail polishes, then take a look. And that's it for this clip. I don't know what else I'll show you. I'll try and show some packing, me prepping for the trip and everything. It's literally an overnight trip. It's nothing crazy, but I am going to treat it like a holiday because it's one of my last few trips and holidays of the year. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Hi, guys. Sorry if you can hear the um, extractor fan going off. I'll try and speak a little louder to make up for it. But yeah, I was gonna do a hair mask and I wasn't sure if I had one and I don't. So um, I'm just gonna use some extra in shower products. I'll show you them in a second. Cause I want to do a little bit of like beauty prep treatments just so that when I'm, you know, to, to tomorrow and the day after I can get nice photos, videos, just relax, not worry at all about how I look. Um, and it's just fun, like pre-travel prep just adds to the excitement and everything. So yeah, it's a perfect excuse to kind of go all out when normally I'm quite lazy with all these like extra treatments and masks and everything. I'll probably do a sheet mask or face mask or something after the shower, but what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Umberto Giannini Grow Scrub, Grow Scrub um, Scalp Scrub. It's, this is what it looks like. Um, just to give my hair a bit of volume and really clean it so it doesn't get greasy by Monday. And then this, instead of a conditioner, this it actually kind of helps. It says here, repairs hair bonds and it actually makes my hair a lot smoother and a little shinier. It's really, really good and it's gonna tone my hair, uh, which I kind of need and it looks so good with these nails. Um, yeah, I definitely made the right choice with the nails, but yeah, that's it for the hair care routine. And then I think I'll use Olaplex bonding oil um, after the shower, just as a kind of like shine treatment for my hair. And that's it for now. Hey guys, so fresh out the shower, hair is washed. It is looking a little more neutral toned like slightly more silvery blonde tone. So thank goodness, hopefully that stays and hopefully that becomes more, more permanent, I guess. We'll see when it dries. It's probably gonna dry quite light. Um, so I'm wearing a mask, which is why my skin looks a little oily at the moment. It's like a gel mask. It's the Boots Glow Gel Mask. It's supposed to make your skin like quite bright and radiant. So I'm hoping it kind of like soothes my skin. It looks like it is. It doesn't look like it's doing anything bad, thank goodness. So we'll see the effect tomorrow morning, I guess. But it feels quite nice, so I'm sure we'll do something. And then I am going to apply my Swede Lash Serum. It's not gonna focus. Tomorrow morning, I'm also going to use this lip scrub. I'm just showing you everything now because I probably won't have time tomorrow. I just love my nails in this light. Um, it's the watermelon sugar one. I need to use it up, it's kind of old. And then tonight, so I have a nice glow for tomorrow. I'm gonna to use the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan because as you guys know, if you watch my Get Ready With Me, I really don't like foundation at the moment. So this will help mask 
any redness I have. Um, this one's really good, it's very gradual. So just one application will be really easy um, and subtle, like it'll be fine. I'm gonna put it a little down my neck as well. Just used Olaplex. I'm gonna tie my hair now and make it kind of wavy and curly. We'll see how well it works tomorrow morning. Um, I'll show you guys the effect then. But that's kind of it for the beauty routine. So I might leave that here and then I think the next clip will just be me packing a little bit. So yeah, uh, I think that's kind of it. And then I'll finish up quite soon.